Hello everyone, welcome back to today's video. Today we're back with another free Y map because why not? That's all that's free on the forums anymore. But we're gonna go ahead and check this one out. This adds barriers around the city hall, town hall, whatever you wanna call it, and adds some flags and stuff. I don't think the flags are there by default. If they are, I've missed them in all my years of G uh, in GTA, but it adds some barriers around, maybe you're expecting a protest or the president to come to town. Wh whatever you're doing, this is a cool role play situation where you can kind of have that set up. Um, but all you have to do to go here is go to this resource linked to the top of the description and subscribe while you're down there and click the big GitHub download button and that will take you to GitHub. And then you click the big green button here and press download zip and open this up with your favorite exporter, WinZip, 7-Zip, WinRAR, whatever you feel like. And you're going to navigate to wherever your resources are. For me, it's my server data resources folder. For you, it could be Zap hosting FTP file access or your TX data folder, wherever you install resources for your server. And in here, you can see there's two folders. So the first one is not the one you're going to drag in. So unlike our other videos, it's going to be the second one. That's the one you're going to drag in here and make sure it's the second one. Otherwise, you're going to be wondering why nothing is loading. And then go ahead and right click, press rename and copy the name of that folder. Don't don't rename it. Just copy the name of it. Go to wherever your server.cfg file is and type in sure the name of that resource underneath the other ones. That's how you started. It. It's very simple, very easy to install. Start up the server check console for any errors but as long as you see that it started the resource right here city hall barriers you're good to go let's hop in game and check it out all right we're in game here i'm gonna press f2 jump into your fastest speed possible and head toward the city and make sure you don't double click otherwise you're gonna be stuck and we're gonna find the city hall area so we can take a look at um what these barriers look like let's let everything load in now the question is where is it it's over here uh da -da 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 -da. i think this is it is this it Maybe not. I don't actually know where I am. I think it's the street. Uh, no, this does not look the same as what it was. Maybe it's in Rockford. It's this city. Is this the city hall? Okay. This is in city hall. This is actually the police station for anybody ever wondering. Um, at least I think it's the police station. It's the Beverly Hills. I think it's Beverly Hills police station. If I remember correctly. Anyway, um, you have the do not cross barriers here. You got all of the fences and the flags out here and the Fences go all the way up the uh, walkway over here, all the way up to the front. So it kind of just blocks off the public access, which is kind of what it's designed to do in real life or barriers. But it's a pretty cool resource. You could park people around here, use um, anything you want to do. If you're looking for it on the map, it's right next to the PD right over here. Um, I guess in real life, this is like a court building. I'm trying to remember. I live in LA, so I go past this stuff in a while. This is for sure not the LA City one. This looks like Beverly Hills to me um, because over here, it's actually the Beverly Hills Police Department. Um, yeah, so this is Beverly Hills Police Department, Fire Department, and this must be their Beverly Hills City Hall. So I guess they're right. I guess it is a city hall, but very cool resource. Thanks for sharing it with me on the forums. And if you want to download it, go check it out down in the description yourself. Let me know what else you want to see. I'm kind of limited on videos, so make sure to subscribe, like, and comment, and I'll see you in the next one.